Febri disease is a rare genetic disorder which usually affects men and it's important because it's greatly reduced life expectancy. For example, if average men live 75 years, in case of febrile disease, life expectancy is reduced around 50 years if left untreated. But in case of treatment, life expectancy can be average. That's why it's important early detection and treatment. Now let's explain what is febrile disease. In case of febrile disease, we have enzyme alpha-galactosidase deficiency. This enzyme we need because we also, our body produces fats which is called globotriazylceramid and globotriazylceramid deposition occurs in lysosomes and it damages lysosome, it damages cells eventually and tissues and organ systems so it affects different organ systems that's why it's important because it can have uh, symptoms very, very versatile symptoms it means different type of symptoms and let's explain what is early signs and symptoms usually symptoms occurs in early ages uh, usually it's in childhood or young ages and first symptom is peripheral neuropathy which is tingling and pain sensation in hands and feet this first symptom another important symptom is reduced sweating which can cause overheating and exercise intolerance also fever intolerance because these people can produce enough sweat and poor regulation of the body is disrupted also dark reddish purple spots is common you can see these red spots which is called ang angiokeratomas and this is early symptoms now let's say about late symptoms late symptoms usually is stroke kidney failure and heart problems especially uh, uh, car uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is important uh, uh, important uh, finding uh, and when we say late symptoms we don't mean that it occurs in uh, in persons 50s or 60s it can occur also at early ages uh, that's why it's important that if stroke occur at uh, early ages or kidney failure it already can be life-threatening um, this disease, Fabry disease, is X-linked recessive disease. It means it affects males uh, because males have XY chromosome and if there is mutation in X chromosome, uh, even its recessive type mutation, uh, men still will be affected. But if it's affect female which has XX chromosome, Male, uh, female can have some symptoms, but it uh, the female also have another healthy chromosome. So this healthy X chromosome can compensate, and symptoms are much milder in case of females. So this disease among females is much rare, and it's more difficult to diagnose because symptoms are mild, and this uh, female whole life can live with this disease and she may never know about this disease um, now let's say why this disease is so important and why it's so difficult to diagnose because it mimics many diseases like kidney disease systemic lupus erythromatosis multiple sclerosis uh, also multi-organ diseases many multi-organ disease uh, and uh, heart disease but why and how physician can suspect febri disease uh, first symptoms uh, except we already mentioned um, like tingling in the hands and feet and uh, heat intolerance uh, unexplained pain and discomfort in hands and feet 
and unexplained kidney disease is important when it's unexplained in early ages unexplained heart problems especially hypertrophic cardiomyopathy when person has no and uh, when person is young and no any other predisposing factors and stroke in early ages also can indicate febrile disease uh, and uh, how we diagnose we diagnose with a uh, measure alpha galactosidase a in the plasma or in white blood cell uh, this measurement is not uh, is not effective in case of females and uh, GLA gene detection mutation detection is used in case of females because um, this ferment activity alpha galactosidase A can be normal among females because they also have healthy X chromosomes and now let's say what is treatment treatment is enzyme replacement therapy uh, chaperone therapy uh, chaperone therapy is effective in case when we have misfolded so we have uh, this uh, enzyme but they are misfolded and chaperone therapy can correct this problem but if we ha we have no this enzyme at all then um, laboratory made enzymes uh, replacement is effective treatment and we should say that um, it's not dependent on eating habits or fat diet or such thing even uh, this is fat deposition problem actually but this fat is not derived from uh, this fat is called gp3 and uh, it's not derived from eating and from food uh, it is produced in our body and no matter if you eating uh, healthy fats or uh, any type of fats or a fat free diet it doesn't matter it still will be in our body so this problem is not dependent on our eating habits um, thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now